not good. I just don't put that much. Yeah, it's got a little, quite a bit of spin on it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. But even when you're hitting your, you know, your wedges, they were drifting. Yeah. A little bit, you know, they're solid and everything, and you're getting ground today, which is, wait, you know, that's a big deal right there. Just ha having turf now. Come on. There's a little compensation to try to to make it square. So yeah. you notice you've been kind of like hitting it a little bit right, and then it's just it's not much. But then what happens is then all of a sudden you start trying to go, you know, mm -hmm. turn it over with your right hand. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna make that a little bit easier. Okay. Cool. Okay, go ahead and hit one more. Okay. Okay. Still kind of the same thing. It's good, good swing and everything. But what happens? Is it has better the right hand would be allowing that to angle in it wouldn't be closed obviously here but it's not going to be coming in like this where all of a sudden you've got to get that turn you, because your right hand your left hand's fine your right hand's going to have to turn and so it's getting this position so then all of a sudden you're going to have a pull or if you just hit it with neutral then it's going to be you're going to hit it in the face blades two degrees open so we want to make a little bit of a grip change and that'll make your right arm function better it won't allow it to roll as much so just just changing the grip from is going to make make a big difference in how the whole function of the right side works. So, just literally, you know, it'll feel awkward, obviously, until you get comfortable with it. But um, especially as good as you're hitting it. But the right hand, when you get it, I want this this V, like when you get it, when you take the grip or whatever. That this this right hand is starting to work up this warm. You'll see, you really wrap the whole yeah. arm over and then put the elbow out. So then the way the elbow and the arm function is going to be kind of tricky. So uh, let's do it with a with a wedge first. And it's making your body have to, it's not just your right hand compensates your body because if it opens, it starts trying to do that at impact too, right? Yeah. And that move there is a, Am I still know, doing that? It has that to it because the one, the grip's so weak that it kind of has to have a little bit of that. But we can, I would start with the grip first and your body will start responding okay. one way or the other. It may move, it may not. It'll probably <laughs> move the way we want it to, but then we'll have to, I'll probably start adding in a little bit more what we did last time as well. Get it more, a little bit more, because it's always going to be a little bit more than what I like, right? So go ahead and set up with your right hand. Go ahead, good. So you get you get it over here. I want this this right hand right there, without it turning any more than ever. And even so, the face would be square. And go ahead and let it close like this. And see how it's kind of forming up the the, the right arm here. That's for you. So for you, that still feels here. It's just it's still weak. like if you turn it there with that thumb. Yeah, you, know, you turn the face in. Yeah. Okay, so you want to not do that. You want to get it. You want to get it under. Go ahead and hold it up here. Go ahead and hold it. All right. Get your whole grip. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. So you, this is too far wrapped over here. Still. Okay. Yeah, I want it. I want it where you get it here. Mm -hmm. You can have this covered like that, mm -hmm. but I want that where it, when you go ahead and put it down now, that it's it's minimal. Like see how it's in here now. Up mm -hmm. the, the V is running here. Mm -hmm. You'll see. It go ahead and turn it over. Go ahead and turn it, and you'll see that's that, that's where you are when you start with a square face. Yeah, that's where you are. So yeah. that's wide open. Yeah, right. It's just the simple way to tell the grip. Okay. Yeah, this this is gonna wrap right here, like we want that, mm -hmm. but we want that up to that right form. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we want to keep the same swing. Okay. That's already changed some of the stuff. So, all right. So don't change anything. Just go ahead and hit it. Don't think about it. The one thing I want you to think about is the grip. Okay. Your swing is gonna stay the same. Okay. Try not to get that already pinched over so far. Like, let it go. I want it to be, yeah, under. Okay. If, if you cheat, go to the other, go away, go stronger than gotcha. over. Okay. And first ball, a little draw. That was good.
key is to make sure you really put your focus in on your grip, on your right hand grip, and then I want you to make the same swing that you walked out we've been working on. Okay. Right hand, more, a little bit more, and then thumb over. So get the thumb over, there you go. And there you go. So you don't have to work with your right hand now. Yeah. And you don't have to work with your body to snap it over. Now you still have a little of the body movement in there. Yeah. But it's not it's not anything like it was. Okay. And the hand you'll find now it doesn't when you hit one if you hit ten balls to the right, a good player is going to go, what are we going to do next? And that's going to be trying to figure out how to turn the face yeah. over. That's not what you, the great player won't do that. They'll just that there's something going on with that. And that's yeah. going to be for you right now, it's with the grip. Okay. And for it, and there's only one other way it's going to do that for you, and that's going to be your body. Okay. See, it's essentially two things. You can eliminate one before you ever swing. The pre-swing fundamental, which is the grip, that's going to start to stabilize everything we need. And if it's still acting up and the ball's sliding a little bit, then you're only dealing with the body at that point. Okay. Perfect. Gotcha. <clears throat> That was hammer, good. Yeah, it was more compression on the shot. Yeah, for sure. A lot, a lot better there. Okay. Your hand, relax that thumb, get it on the side, and the hand under more. There you go, right there, and thumb over, good. Beautiful. And we have zero balls drifting right now. Okay. Make sense. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to leave it, because that when you pulled the hand back over on top. Oh, okay. Because you know, you're relying on me to tell you what to do. Yeah. Instead of looking and really doing it yourself. So I wanted, and that was a good one because it was, you know, 15 yards right of the target with a, with a pitching wedge, right? Yeah. So, right hand. Weird. You have to check it off yourself, and so you don't want it. As I, if I have to say the audio like 20 times, and yeah, all that, yeah. You it, don't want to do that because no. the first thing. No. Yeah, I was gonna make it, so. I mean, this to me. Get the thumb over and the hand under, right? So this, yeah. So I guess. That's going to be there. And what you have to watch is when what what will happen is when you start putting the club down. Go ahead and put it down. Mm -hmm. Is when you start getting in the swing mode. This will start to want to wrap over. You'll want to try to get back to where you came from. Okay. And is so this the, is this okay? Because I keep so I remember, keep, check check the don't look at anything else other than this. See how that's it? Yeah. So that it, yeah that's it. But it should be that every time, every single time. So I don't need to go like that with the thumb though to get it. Prepared. You don't have to. It's okay. good. You've got good players that'll do either one. So some will wrap this over so it softens up the elbow. Some will keep it tight right where you got it right there okay. and snug. But just when you what the problem with snug is guys do this. They start trying to pinch and cheat with the with the right hand. Okay. You don't want to roll the elbow, the hand, and the shoulder out to get the hand on top. You want to be in any one of the grips. The body doesn't change to move the hands. It just you move the hands one way or the other way you want them. Yeah. To get them. This is how you stay in structure. Yeah. What most people do. The right it, shoulder comes. Well, up. yeah. I mean, you start trying to. If you said, all right, I want your grip to come over, which would be opposite of yours, they'll go like this. Yeah. You know, they'll move this four feet and, the other, and you say under and you'll start going like this. Well, my point is, is you want to make sure that the, when you adjust, this is not moving at all, whatever, however you're set up and then you're adjusting your hand. So I can roll over, I can roll under, I can roll wherever I want it to be. And I haven't really lifted this up, tilted this over and okay. adjust my body. And that's a big deal. Cause what guys will do, like for instance, with your, with your grip, it'd be easy for you to start cheating this way. Yeah. Then you're changing your angles, your spine yeah. angle, how you start to rotate around your axis and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. You want to try, and your setup's fun right now, is because you got you're pretty level. You're not really imbalanced or anything, so you have to be really careful just to just to look down and make sure that that grip, you know, is where you want it. So yeah. you can see I've got it here. So then that allows you know the clip to come in square. So if I'm here, square. You know, if I'm here and it's coming in like this because just because the, the grip's over, so it's coming in naturally like that going to be like this and then all of a sudden you're going to try to hit the top and then you're going to get some flip flicks to the left and you're going to hit your natural shot the first one's going to be to the right because you're swinging you're swinging it's good we've got a lot of locked up energy in the arms in this area but we can deal with that after we get the face because the face is going to determine how well you play you can hit it you can hit it yep. straight every time like we were last week you're going to be in good shape Grip 
though you see yeah, they, they, they relax that so get it so get it and then just make the natural swing i've been working on good and when you do that you see you had zero balls left or right one, right zero. Uh -huh. so, and then what that does that light plays into when you if you do hit the ball right and it's gone you're going to make a mistake you, you have to put that real that grip on tell you to check grip before I check body. Okay, that makes total sense. And then with it's programmed, then I would tell you, um, always listen to your feet and it'll tell you kind of what's going on after impact. Good, soften up, good. Beautiful. We crushed that one, good job. Okay. I know our goal is not to crush it, I mean you're a good player, but that's definitely further too because, you know, if I was trying to, you know, like if you're trying to hit the weakest shots in golf, you know, and I'm not saying this is how you hit a flop shot, but you know, if you get somebody, you take the left hand weak, the right hand weak, and then you try to come up, come up, and be like that, yeah. and you get the hands weak. You know, if I had, uh, and, and there's a lot of different ways to do it, but I'm demonstrating how they used to do it in the old days. You get clip face wide open here, here, and the clip right hand's way over on top. Mm -hmm. Because if you had it on side, in a strong hitting position, the, the, it comes out too, too penetrating, right? Yeah. You know, it, so you got to look at. We have weak fundamentals and strong fundamentals. So weak is going to be high and let least less compression. And there's times in golf where you need it out of hazardous lies or try to flop the ball or you, you know all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. There's maybe time. So weak fundamentals would be weak hand, weak club face. That means these are open. This is left. This is on top. So if I just back all that out and said, well, you know, you're not doing all that. You're square and you're strong. So you've got a strong square stance and square body and all that. But you have a real weak, you've got a flop shot right hand grip. Yeah. That's a weak. Mm -hmm. So we, got, we always ask weak or strong. Is it weak or strong? And so we go here, I go really weak because there's a lot of play in the face. And so when you hit it naturally, it should be a couple of degrees kind of open. And the ball is going to feel like it kind of runs back over the face, kind of thin like it does. Yeah. And, Matt, some, and with your old body move, like you used to have a lot of this, it was sliding off the face after it hits the sweet spot. So what my point is, is if we get the right hand grip like it's designed to be for strength. So if I was, another way I like to explain is if, you know, in boxing, you would never turn your hands in like this, mm -hmm. you know, for boxing, you, they're like this, right? right? And so this one's really important. That's the same grip is what I'm showing you. That's the structure of it. It's Perfect. that way with anything. If you're holding, the, if you're in martial arts and you're doing Filipino uh, stick fighting, they teach you that, you're not ever gonna hold stick right. like this in both hands yeah I agree. you're gonna hold it where you got structure and support from, from to the joint alignment all the way to the shoulder right so when you hit that's the same thing but because you can hit shots doing it way over like this we don't get as penalized in golf as you think right i mean we're getting penalized with the right shot but not um and it's not like you can't break 100 okay yeah. so this but this is very weak compared to everything else that you're doing so when we just get that in the word neutral again the boxing grip here not not here or not there it's right there you put that down there's your structure and there's your perfect yeah it feels your feels better and you're getting to use the actually. swing that you we built which is you know okay. shit well you play you got a good swing you just don't want a real weak fundamental yeah i agree soft fundamental in your right here a little bit turn it under a little bit right, right there that's where I'd like to see it. And then the same swing we've been working on. You're gonna love that one, huh? Yeah, it feels perfect. So you got two for one, you've got more compression and you're hitting it, uh, uh, you're hitting it straighter. What's your grip? Check that off. It's a little roll. Yep. Good. How's that feel? Feels good. That wasn't even a kind of a miss. A little thin, right? Yeah. Just maybe a little toe weak. Maybe I have less thin. You might the ball and try to curve on you. Yeah. Like I said, it's hitting the ball in front of you straight every time. You had the trajectory there and you had a little bit of lack of compression. 
know, you had good ball control, you had a more good things there, but straight's going to be first and foremost because we're at the point where we're trying to get to in the 60s, low 70s. You know? right. So that would be that if it's, if, it's long, if it's sliding off the face and going right on you, that's going to be hard to do those two things. That's a bullet there, good one. If you learned it, and we're going to do some patterns where we do with the Tai Chi where I teach you to kind of learn how to let your arms go like this and not limp like this, you know, but learn how to be full and let them go. We're not going to do get into a whole lot of that today, but I'm going to try to see if you can do it conceptually. You're trying to really, you're not letting it, you know, so when you go through, you're from all the way from here to here, it's, it's full control, so all the energy is staying up in the hands, right? Uh -huh. But the face is great because that's why you're hitting straight. Now that we have grip too. I do want you to try to feel like you can just soften up the elbows, you know, in the arms. We call yeah. it the elephant's trunk because it would be like it just comes down. It's very powerful. It's also very accurate. You're getting here like this, and you're you're getting yeah. about halfway down, and you're going and steering it right instead of just and from here. You would just let it go. And there's some drills. Believe it or not, like, even though it's not in a functional style for golf, just practicing letting that go will start to transfer and concept into your swing because everything you do would be kind of. A little shorter and more uptight on right. this way, and it's it, it's 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 showing up here because it won't get that full compression. Okay. You're running really close to full compression, but the rest of it is not going to be swing or the plane of the face or any of that. It's energy that's locked up in your whole body. Okay. As you're swinging down, there's energy staying up here too high. Okay. And we've got to get that energy where it's it's down and it's coming out of your whole body. So when you're here, it's you're getting that sound. You hear the sound. And yeah. It's softness. You know, it's not it's not going to be you know speed. And it's not going to be the same way you're doing it, which is pretty good control. But it's you can see as I come through, it's like this, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of having that here, kind of that softness in the swing. Yeah, got it. And you just, I want you to try to just feel that in your swing a little bit, if you can. Yeah. And the, as we get, um, you know, the not uh, the following week, we'll mm -hmm. start to really dial into that just that only. Get okay. The energy uh, to come out uh, softer and heavier. But, uh, so it'd be more torque based versus speed based. Okay. Swing, okay? Awesome. Awesome. Take your right hand just so you know. It's always turning under and over. Good. And then the soft soft elbows, but but don't lose the uh it's alright. It's kinda opposite, you're a little stiffer on that one actually. <laughs> so it's not going to be weak either. And we might not be able to do it really today. Obviously, it's yeah. a little flip because you lost support, right? So when you did it, you kind of, you kind of, you, you kind of went, you kind of went weak here, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it went a little bit left. Yeah, I got you. Because your elbows were still locked to same tension, or would be even more. It's going to be in this area. Yeah. I said here, but it's actually going to be in your elbows. Okay. So if you watch, I can have, I can break here, see flip right here, right? Yeah. But my elbows were still tight. Yeah. Okay. So if you watch your elbows, how like, watch how I do this. So if you take your elbows flexed and just let them fall like this, and then they would just kind of fall like this. And if you watch at the end of that, they just the energy comes all the way out of not the whole body into into that. Okay. And I said I wasn't going to get into it, but we kind of will. So when I go back, when I come through, you see that's coming. Elbows are coming all there, all the way. And I'm going to try to make them straight and stab. Right. Because then you got another problem you're dealing with. Okay. The energy goes too far down, and you get face and all that so there's a balance where the energy got to go okay and so where you're at you're keeping you, you broke down you've got weak here it's you got limp in this area and but you got you were still tense in here and we've got to have this all where it's relaxed but it's all still in alignment you see what i'm saying yeah so it's, if i'm here i've still got really good alignments with the club and everything but all the energy is uh came out you know really of the body in the club. Okay. okay. And, and I get it. So I may not do it right away, but I definitely get it. That understand? makes a lot yeah. of sense. I've got okay. to keep the body kind of turning. Um, yeah, don't try to spin or any of that stuff because then we'll lose it on the face. But, but mostly, remember, just, just elbows is what I was talking about. Yeah. So um, you just kind of went with the wrist and softened those up and it caused you to flip it a little. All right, let's try it. I'm going to do many. Because the swing is going to stay the same. So it's just energy now. We got the grip. If we got it under, turn it under more. There you go. It's going to be a big deal because you're, yeah. you're, you're listening to me every time. So make sure you get that on your own. And have that softness.